Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is part 15 on how to build Stampy's lovely world inside of Minecraft. And today we are starting off building the entrance, but first I have a little update to do. So in the storage area, turns out that I missed the torch right here. So when you walk in from the main area on the right side, right here, there should be a torch. So I just forgot that for like a couple of weeks. I got told this, right? And like, oh, because I feel my head, I couldn't do the update till now. But finally, there's the update. So, from these four upside down stairs, you can place another four oak planks and place another four in front of it. Also, you can place an oak log there because just like make it easier. So, after that, we can. After that, we can place eight smooth sandstone in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then do it up on this side as well. Then after that, we can place another four oak planks, and there will be oak stairs underneath those. Let me do that now. And so, we need to do two white stained glass, then an orange stained glass, and then there should be two white stained glass in the middle. Which, if I told you that's how we do it, that would be incorrect. So, the orange... So, from the right... From this side here is right, orange, three white, one orange, two white. So, I'll just explain on this side one more time. White stained glass, orange stained glass, three white stained glass, orange stained glass, two white stained glass, just like that. And now then, we will need to get our strip spruce and strip dark oak. I'm not sure which one we need first. I think it's dark oak. So, beside these stairs and go up to this one, we have one dark oak on both sides. And then it will alternate between spruce and dark oak until you get to the end. So, just like... Is that one filled? Yeah, it is. Do that on the other side. So you should have something just like that. Just build a bit more of this first. Actually, no. So from for if we go down here, we can get our dark oak, get our dark oak spruce fences, and go to these two fences here. Build both of them up by two, just like that. And now, what do we put on top of that? It's going to be a bit awkward. So there's first of all two oak planks. One on the left, one on the right. Break out those two. And then put two upside down oak stairs in the middle. Except... Okay, actually... Um, if we get our, our oak slabs, we can put... Replace the blocks with an oak slab on both sides. And then just place four blocks... It would be four blocks above it, but clearly something's gone a bit wrong. Oh no, I think this all has to be extended down one. Yeah, so basically everything here has to be extended down one. So the stairs need to go here. This needs to go here. So uh, this is how this is how I'm gonna do it. This is like probably like the best way to do this. So first, just mirror this all again from underneath, mirror the glass, mirror the pattern, and then, like, see where you have these two stairs? We put, we put these two stairs back down there, and then once we've done that, we just break it all from, like, above. So let's go, I'll show you what it's like, let's go put it all down now, so, so basically, I like, keep breaking this out. So basically, it'll be like a drop down from there. So that's what it should look like. And then the stairs will finally connect up with this, which we just built there. So behind here, we need to have two rows. But no, we can actually do three rows of oak planks. Followed by two oak slabs there. And then we can place... 
four oak planks along here. And then let's see, from the middle to go down here. Actually, what's the floor? Oh, no. Well, first of all, just put like a little doorway kind of thing. So, we have to put, we need saw spruce again. So, spruce here, followed by dark oak spruce. Dark oak, dark oak spruce, dark oak, and then... On these two spruces, there'll be a torch. The floor in here will be oak planks. Get out our door. Put that as the floor so it should look just like that. And then up here, so we'll just continue. So spruce, dark oak, spruce. So diagonally, just continue the pattern. So spruce, dark oak, spruce, torch. Oh, that's gonna be a bit of a problem as well. Do this with like the covered up ones. So replace that spruce, put a torch, replace that spruce, put a torch. And then there'll be a dark oak on top of that. Followed by a spruce and it should connect up with that. So followed by a spruce. So basically, it should look a bit like that. I don't know if that gets a bit too complicated or not. We might actually have to end up doing a bit more down here as well. Let's just see. For now, if we've got our oak planks and oak logs out, the easy way to do it is just to do four oak planks, four oak logs on both sides. So four oak planks, four oak logs. And I'll say for now, just like leave it at that. So what do we have to do next? Okay, we'll decide the difference. We're going to just do one side at a time. This side here, we need a ro a, a row of oak planks, just like that. Followed by those oak planks, we will need some smooth sandstone slabs and also some spruce stairs, which are already there. So we place one, two, three slabs, two spruce, one spruce stair, another three slabs, another spruce stair, and another three slabs, just like that. Then we will need to place a couple oak logs, so... There'll be an oak log there, oak log there, and then there'll be a dark oak, dark oak, the rest of this is just oak blocks. Extend the oak logs up by four, so that'll be four, and one, two, three, four. Now then, if we go and do the glass, so just do two white stained glass, orange stained glass, and then a white one. Leave the middle for now and just extend all of those up by two. The reason we have to leave the middle is because if we go ahead and get our ender chest, because, like, always, not, last reminder, education edition, get our hardened right stained glass, which I already have a tutorial on the channel, how to get. And then put that back. As you know, we will need that again, so don't put that back yet. Although we're going to have to break the chest, I'm afraid. So it should look like that. And then another dark oak on top of these with some oak slabs we also need some sandstone blocks place a row of those just like that and then does our row okay oak logs again oak log there oak log there this oak, this one can actually be broken out because it's oak logs the whole way. 
And then, I'm pretty sure we just placed two more oak logs going up. So, there's a dark oak here. So, I'm assuming we can just go ahead and place a spruce there. Okay, I might as well just get the planks at this point. Make it easier. So, fill in all this with the planks. And then we have to alternate a little bit. So, dark oak spruce, dark oak spruce, dark oak spruce, dark oak spruce, dark oak. So, it should look just like that. And I'm not going to do the top yet. So, we're going to have to move on to the other side. Oh, so I just realised you can start to see little, little pieces of land in the distance. So, what I'm going to have to do is clear out all those, extend the grass out. So we have more. Oh no, we have a massive island over there. Gotta get rid of that as well. So the other side. Let's see how this goes. Well, first up, we will need a... Uh, we'll, so get our smooth sandstone slabs and place two on the ends. Followed by... Not really much we can get rid of. An oak stair. And then in the middle of that, there'll be spruce stairs. I mean, oak planks and spruce stairs there. Three more smooth sandstone slabs. And above those three slabs, place three oak planks. Some dark oak either side. And then just place... Three oak stairs, just like that, and then we can bring this up by eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same side will be the same as the other side. So here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. And then we'll just do this now. So do two hard and white stained glass in the middle, because then we can go back in my inventory. Put that back in there. And now we can go ahead and get rid of that. And we can get our orange glass, which will go one, two, three here. One, two, three. Rest of this being filled in with white stained glass. So we fill all of that in. Place another strip dark oak on top of that. Fill this all in here with your oak. And then we don't have to break any out this time. We just put smooth sandstone across. And then we put dark oak, spruce wood, dark oak, spruce wood. Fill in these two with your oak planks. And then we have that little pattern again. So we'll do, starting from the left, it'll be spruce, dark oak, spruce. That's just not right. Oh, I might have done the pattern a bit wrong, but it's two dark oak, two spruce, dark oak, two spruce, two dark oak. Yeah, we did do it wrong. So, from the left side, it's two dark oak, two spruce, two dark oak, two spruce. In the middle, it should be one dark oak, so that will be two spruce and two dark oak. So just don't worry about that because we don't see it anywhere. In fact, the reason you don't see it is because of what we're going to build now. So below this row, we'll need some spruce stairs on these blocks here. Below that, we will need some spruce slabs. And then the bottom of these blocks can connect up with spruce slabs also. And it'll actually overhang one on the end. We do the exact same thing on the other side. So one down. Just place spruce stairs. With a slab underneath. It will go one out. Connect them all up. Just like that. So it should look a bit like that. Now, what you can do now is get out your sandstone slabs. 
So we need to put our sandstone slabs around most of this. So put a row there. This row will continue to there. And down there. Nothing here though. Then right here. Let's see. On the left side. Two dark oak. Two spruce. Two dark oak. Two spruce. And you don't really see anything after that. Although, is there anything after that? I'll check. Yeah, so there won't really be anything underneath that. So two of the, for some of these sandstone slabs actually extend up to make a full block. So leave these two, full block there, full block on the other side as well. And leave these two from this end, full block and a full block. So it should look just like that. Next, what we're going to have to do is some alternating pattern to go around. So we'll start with here. So dark oak slab, spruce. Leave this one because there'll actually be something going in here, but we're not doing that until we work on the study. So then continue it. Spruce, dark oak, spruce, dark oak, dark oak, spruce, dark oak. And that is just, no, something's gone wrong. Not necessarily wrong, but yeah, I see it. That's a spruce. That's a dark oak. That's a spruce. That's a dark oak. That's a spruce. That's a dark oak. And that is a spruce. Connect all of these ones here down to the very end. Just like that. But now go to this side here, place some spruce, dark oak, spruce, dark oak, spruce. Then here, for some reason, there's two spruce and two dark oak. It's weird, I know. But that is how it goes. Now then, if we got our sandstone and our sandstone slabs. First up, there'll be a sandstone in each corner of this. And then we can place sandstone slabs going around it. Making sure all the edges are connected up. On this side, these two can be extended. These two can be extended up. And then just continue going around it again, just like that. For the next row, we just place them all diagonally, like a bunch of two blocks going around. With a four, little four by four of blocks on top. So it should look a bit like that. Now, if we went inside of this area, so if we go inside of this area, we will need, well, first of all, we'll need all the stairs. On top of that, we will also need smooth sandstone stairs. Let me go ahead and get that now. So there'll be two smooth sandstone stairs. Actually, is it here? Might not be. Yeah, it isn't. There is two sandstone or smooth sandstone blocks. Don't matter because you can't see them. Then two stairs and then oak stair, spruce stair, oak stair, oak stair, spruce stair, oak stair, and then... We will need to get some oak planks and also the alternating stuff again. So let me go ahead and get those. So place three oak planks just like that. We can place some upside down oak stairs facing each other just like that. And then do a little dark oak spruce, dark oak, dark oak spruce, dark oak. With three oak planks there, three oak planks there. And then we'll also need some torches. So torch there, torch there. That will be that wall done. So these four here can just be extended to the very end. So go ahead and do that. Okay, actually all of this is dark oak. So it's just pure dark oak wood. And then we can extend down this dark oak wood all the way down here on this side. And then all the way down there on the other side. And then 
the last rows can just be filled in with oak planks. So that's be that's one row. And then go around here and we can do the second row. So it will look just like that. So for this wall here, we can extend up these oak planks on both sides, just like that. Then it's just continuing with the dark oak as well. That looks like spruce, but that's dark oak, definitely. Because I'll be able to tell the difference. Yeah. So let's extend this up with dark oak. It should connect to that. Connect this up with dark oak as well. And then for the middle, just place up two little things with dark oak planks. Torch there. Torch there. We'll fix that. Then just place some oak planks there. Upside down oak stair, upside down oak stair there. That's the whole inside of this done as well. Meaning now we would be on to the next part of the main area. So if you want to continue this next up, we can come down here. Place a spruce stair either side of this torch. Get out your dot, your planks, put a spruce plank, spruce stair plank stair and then place two spruce planks and a stair same with the other side place two spruce planks followed by a followed by a stair just like that so there'll be another oak log and then there'll be one two three oak slabs so another oak log followed by one two three oak slabs and then you can also place there also be some oak logs going across here going out by one on both sides going in like that and then when it goes up there'll just be two smooth sandstone so two smooth sandstone two smooth sandstone there should be something on this side oh yes yeah, so just place another two oak planks there another two oak planks there that will make that kind of shape and then when it comes to here basically it's just stairs going down for the next part so if we get our stairs out again. And also get our smooth sandstone. So this can be broken out. Replaced with a smooth sandstone. Then place one, two, three. Place three sandstone stairs. So that's one. This would be two. And that would be three. And then place... oak stairs like that and oak stairs like that and apparently there's a spruce stair there and the rest of it is dark oak it's like dark oak there dark oak there dark oak dark dark oak dark oak i'm not 100 percent sure on that but i will check over that in the next video for the next video so you can get torches, place torch there, torch there, it will look just like that. And then, basically from here, you can break up these two. There'll be a bit of a path going down, so place an oak plank there. You can place sideways spruce wood there. Strip dark oak there. Plank there, that is spruce, that is also spruce. An oak plank there so it should look something like that and one more thing you can do smooth sandstone pattern continues along there just like that and where this stair is there is smooth sandstone oak plank smooth sandstone smooth sandstone oak plank smooth sandstone that would probably continue up, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Sandstone. 
Yeah, and then there's one more oak plank. And then what will be after that oak plank? Then it's a stair. And then let's see, there'll be a spruce, dark oak, spruce there. A spruce, dark oak, and spruce there. Followed by an oak plank on top of that. And on top of that oak plank, there will be two oak logs. On top of those two oak logs, there will be two oak planks followed by two dark oak blocks surprisingly those dark oak blocks have a slab on top of them and then we have a dark oak block on top of these with a smooth sandstone which would connect across and I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of a pattern here so, it's... so that's dark oak there will be another dark oak two spruce two dark oak two spruce two dark oak and then quickly get out our normal oak wood because there will actually be a normal oak wood there normal oak wood there the rest of the in-between of this is just filled in with spruce slabs. So that is part one on how to build the main area in Minecraft. In the next video, we'll be working on part two. Hopefully finishing the entire main area. For now, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.